All right. Hello and good evening, everyone. We're back in Spare Room Studio tonight with a special presentation. We've got a brand new campaign in Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom to try out. So if you're watching this live or if you're watching this on the replay, we'll make sure that we get the link in the video description here if you want to try out the campaign for yourself. But we've got a brand new campaign. Thanks to uh, all the folks at the Emperor Facebook page for hosting this event and for also creating the new campaign. So without further ado, let's get into it. I do still play the disc version of Emperor, so if you'll bear with me while we literally spin it up here, we'll get it going. All right, there we go. About 60 seconds later, it finally comes up. So, play our single player campaign here, and open our custom campaigns, and here we are, Voices of the Pinfei. Again, if I pronounce anything incorrectly, please let me know in the chat or in the comments. Uh, I don't speak a word of Chinese, so doing my best here. So, here we go. Ming Emperor Yangle is remembered for constructing the famous Forbidden City. However, there is a dark stain on this achievement that few remember. Herein is the telling of the tale from the voices of those affected. They are the Pinfei, the Imperial Concubines. The Pinfei of Yangle it hold a particularly poignant and tragic place in history. Alright, let's proceed. Okay, so first, Lady Zhao, Mistress of the Potter's Wheel. So our goal here is five people in a modern... Sh this is, again, my lack of Chinese here, but good housing or better. I'll leave it at that. As best I can tell, closest translation is Pin Fi. Ah, Pin Fi. Okay, I'll make sure I get that. Pin Fi, thank you. Um, produce 20 crates of ceramics in one year. Okay, one allied city required. Okay, sounds so good so far. Let's dive into the history here. So, 1390 of the Common Era. My service to the Ming Prince Zhu Di has taken an unexpected turn. When the prince learned of my skill as a ceramist, he, he said, Lady Zhao, you must leave my side to perform this special task. He sent me to establish a village at Lake Pa. My village will supply pottery to the provincial capital at Jiangdu. I have much to do. Not only must I build a village, but I must also train the peasants to craft high-quality pottery. I must manage my treasury carefully, since my rank of favored lady is not high enough to collect taxes in the prince's name. My guess is that we're not going to be able to build any tax offices quite yet. At least in this part of the campaign. Okay, the prince uh, will make his first request for tribute of ceramics in the upcoming year of the monkey. After that, he will make a biannual tribute request. I must work with my villagers to produce more than his quotas, so that we may sell what remains. I miss being close to my prince, but I am excited by this unexpected adventure. For now, I must put aside the skills of the pillow and instead employ the skills of the potter's wheel. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look. I'm going to play on normal difficulty, so let's take a look at the city. So, to be fair, I have not uh, previewed this at all other than to actually just load the game once to make sure that it worked. So, let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got some panda bears. Okay. Otherwise, mostly grassland with some trees around the edges, surrounded by a fairly large body of water, probably a lake here in the middle. We've got some fishing areas, so I bet we can, yep, we can get fish. And, just as I thought, no opportunity to build any tax offices. So, we're going to have to be careful with our strings of cash. Now, what we don't have... Do we have a road? Aha! We do have one road in, so we'll start up here. Clear away some tree brush here. Good news is it looks like a lot of this land is good for cultivation, so we don't necessarily have to worry too much about putting... Um, uh, putting a, uh, a farms or anything close to the body of water like we did in the Shaman of the Oasis, where we really were limited to where we could grow crops. Well, let's just start with a basic straight road in here, and we'll start building off of that. Uh, I'm going to build... I'm going to clear out some of these trees first. got to be careful about how many trees, though, I clear, because we're going to need some of that. Ah, we can build a trading station right away. So, we're definitely going to want to start getting some people moving in here. Let's start with this. Ah, those trees are in the way still. All right, let's start out with our common market square. I'm going to build off from there. Let's 
get a couple houses built so that we can... Whoop, not there. Oh, we have an ally. Good, good. Actually, I might as well leave that there since that's kind of the end of the road anyway. Alright, we have villagers coming in. Let's set up some basic services for people. No acupuncturists, so we're going to be limited in that fashion. I'm going to try to build some roadblocks in here so that we can keep our walkers in one specified area. get us started on the housing front. We should have our water carrier coming out here pretty soon, hopefully. We need 11 more employees. Actually, I'll just go ahead and finish this loop here. That ancestral shrine going. Oh, let's see. Can I... Another couple common houses there. Alright. We've got a good little system going. We've got some unemployment. Excellent. We can start building up a little bit here. So, we know we need ceramics, which in order to build ceramics, we need clay pits. In order to build clay pits or in order to make ceramics, we need the clay pits, and we need clay, which, thankfully, there is grass everywhere, so we should have no trouble with that. Before I do that, can I cross... Ooh, I can board this river. go. Ooh, I think a message about the... Okay, let's take a look. Oh, population milestone, 100 people. Got 100 people. Alright, so we're getting close. Alright, so we have one allied city. We're well on our way there. We still need to work on some of these here, so let's continue to work. I want to start building my industry on this side of the map. Way it's not running into my housing too much. We're going to need to produce some food for folks. Looks like we can make a bunch of soybeans. Soybeans it is. Also add some fishing quays. It'll help if I attach them to a road. Was not a very efficient way to build a road there. Alright, we got some soybeans, we got some fish coming up. What I do want to build over here is a mill. Once we get that mill going, we'll have enough to sustain our population for a short time. Alright, how are we doing on people? Working on that unemployment. Alright, let's get that basic infrastructure going. We've got housing. Alright, let's get to work on the ceramics, shall we? Looks like all the good ceramic stuff is over here. Ah, good point, hemp. We do need hemp cloth in order for us to evolve our housing any farther. Just 
debating how I want to do this. Alright, a little bit of hemp going here. Alright, not bad. Hemp cloth. That'll give us a little bit going. Probably need to expand just a little bit. I just gotta be careful because I can't spend too much of my money, otherwise I'm gonna go bankrupt before I even get a chance to finish the game. Alright, back to clay. Alright, we've got clay, we've got kilns running. We're gonna shut these down for right now. Until we actually get some clay running. May need that fish to keep us going. Alright, we've got fish coming up. Price increase for spices. Alright, good to know. Alright, what can we export here? Wood, lacquerware, silk, and ceramics. Alright. I think we can make some of that stuff. We can definitely make wood. get some lumber going and we will sell lumber because we are we are running out of coin all right let's give us some time here so that we can start accumulating some resources otherwise we're gonna run our treasury straight out of business doing pretty good. Got plenty of trees. Just gotta watch out for some of the panda bears. Alright, we've got some clay running. Excellent. Let's open up one of our kilns. Alright, we're retrieving the clay. Depositing more clay. Good, good, good. some of that wood over to the trading station. Alright, no, looks like it's going to the warehouse. We've hit 500 people. The trading station is going to go pick up that wood, hopefully. Alright, let's get that... Oh. My inspectors are on it, but clearly we need... Ooh, price increase for ceramics. Alright. Good deal. Since we produce ceramics. Looks like we need more homes. Yeah, I was afraid of that. We need an inspector tower over here, clearly. fire hazard here. Well, that's not good. The inspector tower is on fire. Alright. 
clean that mess up. There we go. Alright, that's better. need to keep exporting wood. We've got some ceramics. They need plain food. We'd have to import food probably to offset that, but right now we just don't have enough of it. going. Employees needed. Alright, that's not a bad thing. Let's fire up another kiln. Yeah, we're running dangerously low on money. What we can do is make a hemp shop. I can sell hemp cloth. Hopefully upgrade some of our housing. Alright. Bought plenty of wood. You know, we can probably accept some more bean curd in there. There we go. Alright, not bad so far. Oh, we, oh, plain food, alright, not bad. Got unemployment, so room for growth, but let's wait for the treasury to recover a little bit. We're not going to be able to grow too big too fast. Oh boy, more fires. Alright, we've got lots of fish, we've got lots of trade. Looking good so far. Our treasury falling a little bit. No festival this year. Well, your unpopularity stop prevents immigration. Oh boy. Alright, well, we may have to hire some entertainers then. You don't want to be unpopular. There we go. Round out the corner there. Alright. Need ceramics. We have 10 months to comply with 20 crates of ceramics. Alright, so. How much do we have? We've got three. We're going to need more. some more ceramics. Sorry, we're going to have to chop down some trees. We have, you now we got a little bit of clay. We can actually probably build another couple kilns. But we are definitely running really low on money. Logging shed just so that we can try to get some more lumber going. 
Now we've hit a thousand people. Oops. Taxes aren't going to help, but wages. Maybe if we drop wages. Might be able to save a little bit of money here. ceramics do we have now? We've got five and seven. All right, we're getting close. Let's take a look at the world. We haven't uh, really spread out too much here. They buy, they sell, okay. Not really, there's only Kashgar and Linan here. Ah, good idea. Since we can't uh, collect taxes anyway, we might as well move it down to zero. However, right now where I'm at, I kind of have a bit much on the unemployment side, and I don't necessarily want to attract too many more people. But definitely if I start running out of uh, space, I'll definitely lower the tax rate. They need appeal. I'm not going to work too much on that appeal until we've uh, fixed our treasury problem. Good news is we've got 700, 900 ceramics. We're almost halfway there. All right, six more months to comply with the ceramics. Hopefully we can meet that quota. All of our kilns are firing at full speed. Three loads, three loads, two loads, three loads, not bad. Put in another kiln, we need more ceramics. Ah. Back that road, make it a little easier to get around. Get ceramics, it will pull them from the trade station. Ah, okay. Well, let's do that. Get ceramics. Alright, there goes the warehouse delivery men. Just gonna pick up those ceramics, bring them in. We'll have a. We've got 1100, we only have a few more months. There's a big deposit. 1400 We still need more. And a couple more crates on the way. $1,500. dollars Got some more inbound. Hopefully we get enough. It's going to be close. Meanwhile, we need to keep selling wood, otherwise we're going to run out of money. 1800 Lots of bean curd coming in. Any more ceramics? Nope. Nope, there's one. I need one more crate, guys. Come on. One more crate. made our quota. 20 crates of ceramics in storage. Dispatch now. Alright. We're well on our way. We've successfully gotten that. We set ceramics back to accept. We'll go ahead and sell what we can. That's because our food kind of ran out there, since we're only producing fish and bean curd. Uh-oh, hygiene falling dangerously low. Alright. Probably need one of these guys. 
Yeah, that new neighborhood I built. Not doing too good. All right, guard us more highly. All right, well, the ceramics industry doing pretty good. We need more workers, so let's drop that tax rate. Just got to manage our inventory a little bit here, particularly with our cash. Also need to make fancy housing eventually, so we have to keep an eye out for that. Probably thinking I might have to wall off our little warehouse district here and start building the fancy houses. We've got plain food, good. All right, our ancestors aren't happy. Oh. Set trade station to sell ceramics. Yep, we're definitely selling. In fact, looks like there's a load coming in right now. Happy New Year. Okay. Spent another 200 strings of cash. A little low. Gotta wait for our trader to come back in here and help us out a bit. We're still peddling food and hemp, which is good. Got a little bit of unemployment, 10%, not terrible. Really more worried about the treasury at this point. The trade station is full of lumber. We have surplus wood. We can always use that as a uh, homage to our ancestors. All right, let's see what we get from trade. We really could use some. All right, there we go. Got us back up to 700 strings of cash. That's a good sign. All right, not too shabby so far. Just got to watch our spending. All right, we've also Produce 20 crates of ceramics in one year, which is excellent. All right, fast. I'm a fantastic leader. All right, making friends. So the next order of business is maybe to uh, work on building some farms because. run into a, a shortage here of food, particularly if the population keeps growing over time, which looks like it is. If I want to sustain the uh, good amount of food that we have, to be careful. Field going. We've got food stored for a little over a year, which is good, but it's mostly fish. Mm -hmm. 
We've got one more trade coming in this year. Stock up as best we can. No one needs ceramics yet. We will eventually. stockpile. That's true. Only need plain food for the houses in this mission. We've got attractive cottages. We've got plain cottages. Now we need to get up to a spacious dwelling. And that would be we need to increase the appeal of the neighborhood. And I forgot I should have made the... Uh... Oh no, we can't make the fancy streets. Alright gardens it is. There we go, some spacious dwellings. Gardens are cheap, but effective. Alright, let's reach out to the rest of the world here. Let's give a gift. Do you like wood? Hope you do. <laughs> or fish, one of the two. Bought four ceramics, good. Ooh, foreign emissary. Gift of hemp. Oh, we'll accept the hemp. We could import some spices. Or rather... Well, Zongdu's got game meat, so we could buy game meat, which is a lot cheaper than spices. That would give us an extra bit of food, but right now we're, we're doing all right with food. With just plain food, I think we can survive. We need 500 people in a spacious dwelling or better, so we need to continue to work on that. A little bit nicer over there. Gardens. Hmm, yeah, I will need to put down some elite housing. So here is my plan for the elite housing. Probably going to make a small offshoot over here and try to boost the appeal of that area with the gardens and effectively wall off this spot because no one wants to be next to the mill. Ooh, grateful for wood. We would like to open trade. We could definitely sell some extra wood. Or perhaps, let's see what else do they have. Not trading needs. Hemp. Oh, great. We can sell hemp. My treasury, though, real low, so we gotta wait to build that fancy housing. Looks like we're good on the food front for right now. Oh boy, unemployment. Let's raise taxes. Otherwise, people are going to be really unhappy. Well, this is a problem. We made too many houses. Well, we've got 619 in the spacious dwelling, but we don't have anywhere to put them. All right, we're going to have to start evicting. Oh, good. Trade has opened up. Uh, no festival this year. We're going to uh, tighten our belt a little bit. All right. Let's start selling. find a spot for our elite housing somewhere. Either that or I could build a new neighborhood down there. We'll have to see. 
it's a not a huge map, so we're going to have to be careful about how we plan this. We may end up having to tear some houses down. Oh, we can dispatch that now. Unfortunately, that puts us into the red. Alright, let's see if we can build that fancy house. Highly desirable area. Hmm. Gotta build it back here. <laughs> nope. Highly desirable. Okay, let's take a look at our. All right, neutral appeal, somewhat appealing. Ah, okay, so that's for the lady and her maids. I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, there is no palace you can build, so that makes sense. Neutral appeal, somewhat unappealing. Let's see, we gotta find a spot here. Alright, they regard us more highly. Neutral, somewhat unappealing. Could be a tough sell up there. But. If we threw in some gardens in here, we might be able to spruce the place up a bit. Let's see how that works. Neutral appeal, somewhat unappealing, alright. Uh-oh, I hear muggers. Uh, that's not good. Having all these people on the streets for lack of work makes nothing easy. Neutral appeal. We need to build up a little bit more. There's a lot of unrest in the city. Okay, great. Hey, there we go. All right. All right, unemployment is going up, so we need to figure out something here. How about some more hemp? We need hemp. Where can we put hemp? Alright, now that we've got food, we can actually start putting people to work. We've got some strings of cash, so let's go tackle this unemployment. Ooh. Homage to an ancestor before they grow angry. Oh yeah, that's right. Good call on the roadblock. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Or rather... Oh, now they're complaining about wages. Great. All right. All right, well. Might need another clay pit. Not the best planning right there, but it'll work. Let's see. Alright, we need a couple people in the fancy house. Limited by low wages. Well, alright, we can fix that. Ah, past bad feng shui. Oh no. Well... <laughs> Looks like we'll have to fix some stuff here. Uh 
now we got some disease going on. Alright. This city's got a lot of problems, but we can fix it. I think that meets our success criteria. I think we gotta wait for a month in order for it to go to, com to complete. Rest over there. Let's knock down some of that. Alright, here we go. Where there was once only a quiet lake, a thriving village now sits. I have done my best to prevent the or to prevent the village's footprint from marring the beauty of Lake Pa. I pray that I have succeeded. Alright, said a vessel is formed from a lump of clay with care. However, it is em the empty space within the vessel that makes it useful. I've tried to follow these words to guide my villagers to put form to clay. But how can the true usefulness of the empty space be measured? I can only measure it based on what I see here in Pa. I know my prince is pleased by our tribute, and merchants from near and far arrive to purchase our pottery. Perhaps that is my answer. My prince is traveling soon for a celebration visit. Will he find me lovely? Makeup may cover the worry lines on my face, but I fear that there is no hiding other aspects. My once soft and white hands are now calloused and strained from long hours at the potter's wheel. I must coax out the beauty I once possessed and remember the pillow skills.